guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be taking a look at Congo Bongo for the ColecoVision. Well, it says for the ColecoVision and Atom, but Atom is just the computer version of the ColecoVision. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to be checking this game out because, you know, I've played it before. I haven't played this one yet. Uh, I got it with that stash of ColecoVision games I picked up a while ago. And, uh, you know, I was so happy that this was part of that collection because... You know, I, I kind of like this game. I like playing it. I like playing it when I was a kid on, on my Commodore 64 all the time. And, uh, you know, that's where I got used to the game. That's where I knew what the game was. I didn't really play it in the arcade. I don't even remember if i seen it in the arcade. Um, but, you know, I did play it a lot on my on the Commodore 64. I also got a chance to try on the... Uh, this, this is the Atari 2600 version. I got this one from the No Swear Gamer, I remember, a while back. Uh, this is a, this is an okay. It's an okay. It's ambitious for what it is. They really tried to make it work on the on the Atari. It's a little bit tough. Um, so I'm expecting with the Coleco version. Usually the Coleco, they they did a very good job replicating the arcade game. So um, you know I, I'm expecting that this is going to be pretty good quality, almost like the arcade. Anyways, let's pop this in. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I only plugged it in, made sure the game functioned. And that was it. So this is going to be my first go at it. So eh, I might suck. Anyways, let's get to the game. Okay, so we got ColecoVision presents Sega. Sega's Congo Bongo. 1984 Coleco. So we got Coleco and Sega working together. <laughs> so that's, uh, yeah, goes to your typical blue screen with the skill levels, but it's got this little music going on right now. That's okay, that's the Congo Bongo theme that you get in pretty much all the games. I can, I can make it out. So let's do the skill one, player one. Why not? Get ready, player one. Ready, player one. It's got the same sound effect there. That's our guy down there. I'm gonna try this really with the uh, traditional or the original, I don't know, you're going to call this the controller, the gamepad for the uh, ColecoVision. Not one of my f more favorite controllers, I have to admit. I mean, it's similar to the Intellivision one, but uh, the, the joystick part of it is different. Okay, I just kicked that monkey off. Oh, jeez. Fell in between some crack over there. Hmm. Let's try that again. What's this thing over here? It looks like a skull. I guess you can't walk on the water. <laughs> so, in case you've never seen this game before, I mean, it's kind of like a, a Donkey Kong style game. I guess that's why they, they used an ape up here and he's throwing... Where, well, in Donkey Kong, he's throwing barrels, but in this one, he's throwing boulders or coconuts or something. I can't remember what exactly he's throwing there. Looks like boulders. Oh, jeez. But I always seem to have the same problem in the same area on all the different versions I've played of this game. Ah. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can actually pass this first level. So in this one, you don't really have to follow the ladder structure like you would in Donkey Kong, because you can pretty much climb up most of this stuff, just wherever you want to actually climb. There is like these little pink things there. I guess you could kind of see it. It's very faint. Kick this monkey thing out of the way. I'm having a hard time trying to get across. There we go. Now here, these monkeys just kind of get in your way and they just kind of frustrate you. And I fell in the water. This guy's, you know, like your typical video game character. Everything kills him. And yes, you can jump too if you want to. You can jump up or you can climb up. I'm not doing too well in this one. I'm dying all over the place. So I'm starting to wonder if I would have been better off using the Super Action Controller. Which I haven't, uh, I haven't really explored yet. I haven't really spent some time on it yet. 
since I got this uh, newly acquired ColecoVision after my other one kind of busted on me. Okay, so I made it to the top. So the monkey, he kind of runs away, sort of like Donkey Kong. Except in this one, you're not actually going after the girl. Okay, I, I remember this level. This was in the arcade. I don't think this was on the Atari one. And it definitely wasn't on the uh, Commodore 64 port of it. Oh, jeez. Wow. That was rough. Let's give that another go. Just gonna climb my way up. Oh, jeez! Right in the noggin. I just ran right in the path of that boulder. I think they're boulders. I don't think they're coconuts. I don't have the manual, so I can't exactly read up on it. <laughs> He's got to take the right path. And, oh, jeez. I got a monkey. So the monkey really just kind of clings to you and just slows you down. And then he runs away. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> right at the top there. He drops one. That's not fair. Okay, this area seems to be troubling for me. Perhaps I'm not being patient enough. Whoop. That was a mistake. Alright, let's just kill him and start again. Jump into the water! I mean, so far, this, this is a pretty good version of the game. I mean, it kind of gives that arcade feel. You know, that, that was the... The one thing the ColecoVision did right was it gave you a lot of games that, that were kind of on a similar f fashion as playing the arcade version. Go away, monkey. I don't find that this river thing is as hard to cross as it is on, say, the Commodore 64 version. And even on the Atari, jumping over this river is harder. They just made it a single little jump, and it's, it seems to be easier. This, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm supposed to be jumping over those things. You just gotta get over there to the other end. Oh, I just die on the first one that comes near me. Holy crap, I don't know why to what... What's going on? Go away, go away, go away. Ah. There we go. <laughs> I just ran right by them. Not sure what the holes are doing. They're opening up or something. Alright, so this is the, uh, the final stage where you get across and... I think in this game, what you actually do is you, uh, oh, jump in the water. You actually set the monkey on fire <laughs> when you get to him, the ape, or the gorilla, or whatever he is. Now, this is going to be tricky, because using the ColecoVision controller to go on this uh, asymmetrical angle, I always have a hard time on any game that's like this asymmetric Sort of like Zaxxon. Let's see if I can run through this without getting hit. Oh! This is only on the uh, easy stage, too. I mean, I could have set this thing to hard. I don't know what, what the difference. Maybe I should check that out, too. Just for fun. Set it to hard. Whew, I got up. Music is, uh, okay. Last time I just, whoa, run, run, run. <laughs> oh, man. Thought I did it. I was right there. 
Run, little man. Oh, tripped over whatever that. Oh, no. I jumped. I thought I'd jump up there, but he, he bounced back and trampled by that rhino thing. All right, we did it. Whew. Well, it looks like I have two men left, so... This one's going to be tough. I, I just find that this... Judging the jumping is what's... We're going to have to jump over to these... Uh, the hippopotamuses? I guess i got to jump on the fish. These are fish, it looks like. No, no! This is like a, a Frogger style level. Only much harder. Come back, Hippo. What? I hit the corner there. That's not right. Do it. What? Okay, that's. I was clearly on that platform. That's just not right. <laughs> okay, let's uh, reset that and let's do a. Let's try a different skill level. See if anything's different, anyways. We get back to the Coleco stage here. So we got skill two, player one, skill three, or skill four. Let's go to skill four because might as well see what happens. All right. So perhaps the boulders are going to be faster, or they're bouncing or something. I don't know. Whoa! What? I just slipped right off the edge there. What'd they do? Make it uh, all like icy plain? <laughs> made, it, made it wet from the water? Look, I'm sliding. I'm sliding here. <laughs> That's insane. Well, if they're going to make the ground slippery... No way to get it around that either. Holy! <laughs> it's, I can't get past that one area. And then I just got bonked on the head. Game over. Wow. Yeah, okay, I can see how that's uh, definitely a lot harder than, uh, than the first one. That's for sure. So this was actually pretty good. I really enjoyed this. Um, and it did. It did kind of give me the feeling I was playing on the arcade. And like I said, that was what the ColecoVision was good at. I mean, they they packaged their system with a Donkey Kong, uh, you know, this, this thing here. They packaged the system with this Donkey Kong, which during that day was almost like playing on the arcade. There were some slight differences, of course, but I mean, it gave you that arcade feel. This really did kind of feel like I was playing on the arcade. Now, the controls, of, again, I was using a ColecoVision controller. I find that that one is a little bit stiff to use, the top part. Um, some people like it, some people don't. It's just like with the Intellivision controller. I think, you know, there's some people that really love playing on it, and then there's others that hate it. Uh, I did mention the uh, Super action, action Controller, which is this thing. And, uh, you know, I still haven't really spent any time on this, which I'm going to get around to at some point. I want to, because, um, you know, it, uh, it's the only thing that can actually play Rocky on the system properly. But, you know, it does give you that kind of an arcade joystick feel. So I might have had a better chance with that. I don't know. But overall, I thought the game was great. The graphics, the sound now mm, lacking a little bit on my... I, I don't know. 
maybe it was just they they did it on purpose they didn't want to have too much sound effects in it or something or the the music they i i kind of get it the way that that it sounded but i thought it could have been sounded a little bit better um you know there's other systems like game television that that can usually pull off some pretty good sounds uh the commodore 64 has a really great sound chip so i'm not too familiar with with the sound chip of the ColecoVision and if it's if it's any good or not um I'm, i do notice that some of the games do lack the sound when it comes to you know but, but i i don't really mind that that's that's not a big deal and you know back in the day sometimes i would turn off the sound on my tv and just play games and put on my radio uh, you know so it didn't really matter anyways yeah let me know what you think of congo bongo i thought it was you know the, the skill was a little bit tough um that that middle lecture section where um i had to dodge those rhinos for whatever reason i was having a hard time on that and the hit detection i was having an issue with on that third level where i kept trying to jump on that island and it, it looked like i was going to make it and then i just fell through so I, I don't know if that's you know the way because it's on that angle or what um and i, I kind of found that that's always a thing with with all the congo bongos i've ever played anyways let me know what you think down below in the comment section if you played this one or if you played any of them. I always like to hear your thoughts. You know, any, anything you, you might have, any experience of this game, throw it all down there. Um, you know, let me know what you think of it. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.